Next on the nutrition facts table, we will focus on sodium. Now, sodium is a mineral found in salt. Too much sodium in our diet can affect our blood pressure and cause us to retain fluid. Therefore, low sodium eating is very important to help us manage our blood pressure. Here is a simple guideline when looking at sodium on the nutrition label. If the sodium content is between 0 to 200 milligrams for that serving, it's considered a green light. It's low in sodium, a good choice. However, if the sodium content is 400 milligrams or more, it's considered a red light. Too much salt, not a good choice. Next, we will focus on carbohydrates. There are three types of carbohydrates, sugar, starch, and fiber. Now, fiber has many health benefits, including it can help you feel fuller longer, it can also help with weight management, it can help manage blood sugars, and can help manage blood cholesterol. As well, it can help with bowel regularity. So we definitely wanna choose foods that are high in fiber. Now sugar, we want to choose foods low in sugar, especially for managing blood sugars. And also sugar contributes to calories in our diet, which can affect our goal of managing our weight. So when we're looking at the label, we want to make sure that we're choosing high fiber and low sugar. On the label, you will also notice that there is a column called percent daily value. And what this is, is it puts food on a scale from 0% to 100% so that we can determine if there is a little or a lot of a nutrient in a food. Now, some of us may be looking for specific nutrients to include more of in our diet, such as nutrients like fiber, certain vitamins, calcium, iron. So we want the percentage to be higher. Now, if the percentage 5% or less, that would mean that there is a little of that nutrient in this food. Whereas if it were 15% or greater, then that would mean that there was a lot of this nutrient in the food. Now we can use the nutrition facts tables to compare similar products at the grocery store. Here I have item A and item B. The first thing you want to do is look at serving sizes. So in item A, it's per half a cup or one cup prepared with water, and item B is per one cup. So the serving sizes are similar, which means we can compare these products nicely. Now the healthier choice in this case would be item B for the following reasons. The sodium content is 140 milligrams in item B versus 410 milligrams in item A. So 410 milligrams of sodium would be too high. The other reason that product B is a better choice is that there is more fiber. And remember, fiber is a nutrient that we want more of. So the fiber content is three grams versus one gram in product A. So because there's more fiber and less sodium, product B is the healthier choice. I have reviewed nutrition facts tables to help you make sense of them all. And I hope that next time you're at the grocery store, you can use the nutrition facts table to compare similar products to help you make informed, healthy food choices. I'm Ashley Mendez, registered dietitian at St. Joseph's Health Center. Thank you.